what's up you guys it's Allison welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk all about the cash envelope system how you can use it to stick to your budget what the heck is the cash envelope method and how it all works so let's go ahead and get started too far into this video first I'm just gonna say sorry for the background noise I film in my basement and the furnace is literally right there and it's so cold that I can't turn it off to film right now it's been off for too long because I've been batch filming so it's just gonna be annoying background noise I hope it's not too annoying um, but today we're gonna talk about the cash envelope method um, so let's start off with what the heck the cash envelope method even is so when you do your budget and I will link my budget video if you don't do a budget this is a budgeting method so this works with your budget pretty much um, I think of this as kind of like a budget add-on so basically this is an all cash method so you take the categories of your budget that you are most likely to overspend so the ones that you know you have a history of overspending or the things that you spend the most on so you could have a tendency to go over budget so for me this is things like my personal spending money gas groceries and um, pet expenses so those are the things that i spend the most on and that i need to track on a monthly basis so to use the cash envelope method what you would do is you would go to the bank every time that you do a budget every time you get paid um, you would go to the bank and take out those amounts in cash so instead of having your personal spending money your grocery money um, your gas money in your bank account that you swipe your debit card to use you would go get actual physical cash and that is how you would spend your money for that budget period so the reason this is called the cash envelope method is because most people keep an envelope for each different expense so let's say personal spending money groceries gas pet supplies you would have a separate envelope for each one of those expenses. When you went to the bank and got your cash, then you would take your envelope, take that amount of cash, put it in the envelope for that specific budget category, and then you just spend out of that category based on what you're purchasing. Once the money in your envelope is gone, that's all you get. You don't have any more money in that budget category. And that is why this method works so well for a lot of people to keep them from going over budget is because first off, once there's no money left, that's it. There isn't any more money in your budget. There isn't any more money in your account to go get. Second off, it's a lot harder for most people to spend cash than to swipe plastic because when you have cash in your hand, you are actually giving something up to get something else back. When you swipe a card, you swipe it, you keep your card, and you get the item. So just psychologically, there's nothing that you're like giving up in the moment, but when you're giving up cash, you don't get that cash back. Once it's gone, it's gone. So that is something that works for a lot of people to keep them from spending as much money because it's harder for them to even want to buy something when they have to give up that cash. So let's break down exactly how you use the cash envelope method. So I just gave you an overview, but how do you put it into practice? So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna do some numbers on paper and I'm gonna break down how you would take your budget categories and break those into the amounts of cash that you wanna get out of the bank, how you would stuff your envelopes and pretty much just how exactly to use this method. All right, so right now you are looking at my second paycheck of February. Um, so these are the categories that I was talking about that I would deem as envelopes for myself because these are the ones that I am most likely to go over budget in. So I would have probably four envelopes if I was doing the cash envelope method I would have these four envelopes for the four different sections and if you guys are wondering I didn't mention before these are nice laminated um, cash envelopes so you can see they're just nice paper that you would put your cash in and it would keep your um, your amounts separate from each other you can get so many different types of envelopes on Etsy and Amazon I will link some of my favorites down below 
so you guys can go check those out but that is just another way to make it a little bit of um, a fun thing is to get some fun envelopes if you were you could also use these for sinking funds if you wanted to save your sinking funds in cash and you could get fun envelopes for say if you were saving for your vet fund for your dog you could get an envelope that had like dogs on it there's tons of different options just to make it a little bit of fun um, but I just wanted to show you guys these so I would have my four envelopes for my four sections and I would go to the bank and get cash out for these amounts. So let's talk about how you figure out what the heck you actually need to get from the bank. Because you can't just walk into the bank and be like, I need $50 and then $75 and then I need $100 and then I need $50. Like they're gonna be like, why, why are you doing it that way? So it's a lot easier if you figure out what bills you need so like what how many fives you need how many tens you need all of that so let's talk about how you would figure that out for this um, budget okay so I've moved us over to just a scratch piece of paper so that we can figure out what bills we need for this budget so I would do 20s tens and fives because just me personally I would not like to have 50s breaking 50s would be kind of annoying um, so I'm just gonna do kind of like a tally system over to the side here for each one of these things and then we'll add them up so hopefully this will make sense so for this $50 I would need um, two 20s and a 10 so that would give me my $50 and then for the 75, I would need three 20s and a 10 and a five, right? 20, 40, 60, 75, yeah. For the 100, I would probably just do five 20s. And then for this 50, I would do two 20s and one 10. So that, would, that breaks down how many you need of each of these things. So then you add these up. So you would end up needing one five, you would need three tens, and then you would need five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, twenties. So you see how I did that. I just went through these categories and in my head I was able to figure out what bills I would need to make that a convenient amount. When you go to the bank, if you write this down on a post-it note or something and take this with you, then you can give it to the teller and be like, hey, I need 12 20s, I need three tens, and I need one five. And then when you get home, you can just separate all that cash out. So then you would just take your envelopes here and you'd be like, okay, I went and I got $50 out for my spending budget. So you would take two of these 20s and one of these 10s and put them in your spending envelope. Then you would do the same thing with gas. You would take your three 20s, your one 10 and your one five to reach your $75 and you put that in this envelope and so on and so forth. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. It just makes it a lot easier if you know ahead of time what the breakdown is you need because if you just went into the bank and asked for this money in cash, you would probably get pretty annoying bills. Like I don't like, they, they would give you a $100 bill probably. Um, and probably even more than one $100 bill for totaling these all up. And it's no fun to break a $100 bill. Like some places just won't even take them because they don't have enough change. Like it just depends on what your budget categories are. It's just easier for me to do these lower bills um, and be prepared to take this to the bank with you. So this is how the cash envelope system works. Um, I also would do a spending tracker. So some people do a little spending tracker and put one in each of their envelopes. And then whenever they make a purchase, whenever they get back to their car, they just immediately get that little tracker out, write down what they spent on the tracker, and then keep a running total of what their cash balance is in the envelope. Um, something else you could do which is kind of where I got this idea, to be honest, to do this spending tracker. Um, you could do something like this in your budget planner and keep track of each one of your envelopes the same way that I'm doing here, where you just put the amount. This is the same thing as what you could do in your envelope. Um, it's just like in my budget planner instead of in the actual envelope. So that just helps you keep an idea of what um, is actually in your envelopes at any given time. So you're not like, oh, I'm gonna go get gas and then you don't have enough money left in your envelope to put gas in your car. 
um, you know what you have at any given time. So that is pretty much an overview of how the cash envelope system works. This is really just meant to help you stick to your budget. Um, I think it can be really, really helpful if you're new to budgeting or struggling with sticking to certain categories. Um, something I know some people do for especially like groceries is when they're shopping they actually add stuff up on their calculator on their phone as they go so that they know they're not going to run out of money in their envelope. Um, when I used to use the cash envelope method because I actually I don't use this method right now because it's not convenient for me to go to the bank. I live in a small town and there's no ATMs close to me um, so it's more it's more inconvenient to do this method though it probably to be honest would help me because um, when I did use the cash method it kept me on budget very well so I definitely do recommend this if you have trouble sticking to your budget but what I was saying um, when I used this method before for groceries I had my cash and I actually would not take my grocery money out in cash because I would order my groceries online and go pick them up but I knew that I had $100 in my grocery budget, so when I ordered online, I would make sure that everything I had in my cart was less than $100 and I didn't have to worry about going over that budget. And then whatever was left, I would just roll into either the next month or the next paychecks budget or I would send it to debt at the end of the month or whatever I was working on at the moment. So that is kind of some options. That's how the cash envelope system works. Um, again, I think it's a really great method. It was, it definitely helped me stay on budget when I was using it. Um, it is great. It's used by a ton of people. Um, it, it was, it's really like a Dave Ramsey um, budget method, but I think it works really well. So if it's something that's going to work for you, if you don't like spending cash, um, if you just swipe your plastic and don't even think about it, this could be a great way to help you stick to your budget. So I hope all of this made sense. Leave me any questions or comments down below in the comment section. I really love talking to you guys. I also will link all my social media um, so that you can go talk to me there. If you also want to ask questions, I'm on Instagram all of the time and I talk to you guys a lot over there so that is a good place to find me outside of YouTube. Any of the other videos or resources that I mentioned in this video will also be linked down below so you guys can go check that out. Um, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I put out new videos on budgeting, um, finances, productivity, organization, all that good stuff every Saturday and usually also on Tuesdays. I am upping my content for this year and I am excited about it. So definitely also let me know down below if there's anything that you want to know more about. But that is all that I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.